everyone, Jason Shepard, M0A.com, and welcome to Pilot Training TV. Um, 91 to 11, what can we find in 91 to 11? This is one of the biggest checkride questions coming up right now. Examiners asking either A, hey, what can I find in 91 to 11? Um, we're talking about the FARs, by the way. Or, sometimes they'll ask, when do you as a private pilot, or any pilot for that matter, need to be on supplemental oxygen. Well, Mr. Examiner or Mrs. Examiner would be a great way to start it, probably. I'm just kidding about that part. In 91.211, in the FARS, you can learn all about supplemental oxygen. In fact, from 12,500 feet to 13,999 feet, if I'm at that altitude for more than 30 minutes, I have to be on supplemental oxygen as required crew. Let me say that again. From 12,500 feet to 13,999 basically, more than 30 minutes if you're up there, you have to be on supplemental oxygen. Now the question your examiner is going to come back and ask you is, well, why can't I just fly up there for 29 minutes and then drop down to 11.5 for a bit and then bump back up? Air traffic control is going to know what's going on, and that's simply not going to fly. Okay, that's, uh, that's just not how it works. You need to be on oxygen. Okay, 12.5 to 13, 9,999 feet. That makes sense? Yeah, that makes, I think, 999 feet. I'm bad with my numbers sometimes. Um, you need to be on oxygen. Listen to this one, 14,000 feet. Okay, at 14,000 feet, required crew must be on oxygen. Okay, there's no way around it. And 15,000 feet, you are still on oxygen. However, your passengers now must be offered oxygen. Now, they don't have to take it. If they want to get hypoxic and pass out, uh, that's their deal. So, 15,000 feet must give it to the pa offer it to the passengers, but they don't have to accept it. Let's recap real quick because this is a big check ride question now. Where do you find this? 91 to 11. From 12.5 to 13.9 we'll say. If you're there for more than 30 minutes, you have to be on oxygen. Okay? 14,000 feet required crew is required to be on supplemental oxygen. And 15,000 you must offer it to your passengers, however, they don't have to accept it. Hey guys, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you for checking out Pilot Training TV and M0A.com. You guys are such a blessing and I appreciate it. If you're curious about more check ride questions, you need to check out my online ground school or you need to check out my book, Pastor Private Pilot Check Ride. Hey guys, remember, good pilots always learn. See ya.